Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to one of my tutorials for Rahma 3 and its mission editor. This time I want to show you all commands that you can use to change the weather. Arma 3 handles many different weather conditions that can change players perception of the mission, it has big impact on playability and on missions difficulty. The weather can be changed in the middle of a mission with few simple commands and let's have a look at them. The first one is called set overcast, it changes the overall look of the sky. The command looks like this. At the start of the command you can choose the time in seconds that it takes the game to change the weather and at the end you set the weather itself. You can fill in any number between 0 and 1. 0 means clear sunny weather with almost no wind at all and 1 means very cloudy with high possibility of rain and storms. The wind speed is also increased. This command is quite important because it changes the overall weather. When for example you want rain in your mission you should create some clouds first with the set overcast command. You don't want a rain and a completely clear sky, that just doesn't look right. As this command changes the overall look of the sky it was decided that such a change needs to be slow so that players don't notice. So it takes 10 minutes for the overcast to change, bear that in mind. Let's have a look at the example, the time is 60 times faster so it takes only a few seconds to change the weather. Time to get to the second command, set rain obviously lets you set different rain settings. The command looks like this and is practically the same as set overcast. The first number sets the time for a change, the second number sets the actual rain intensity, 0 meaning no rain at all, 1 means very heavy and strong rain. Remember, you should make some clouds first, so better to use th this command with set overcast. Here is an example, the complete change from nothing to full rain in 5 seconds. Another command will be set fog. Fog can drastically reduce the visibility and can have a big impact on players performance in helicopters. Also, snipers are totally useless if the fog is present. The command looks pretty much the same as the previous ones, so at least it's easy to set. The first number means the time needed for a change, the second number is the fog setting. 0 meaning no fog at all, 1 means very dense fog. This command can stand on its own and doesn't need anything else to work. Here's the example, the fog changing as always in 5 seconds. Another command is set lightnings. Now this command is new in Arma 3 and yeah, just like all commands so far, it has two values, the first marking the time, the second the value itself. It should be used in cloudy weather and well that's about it for this one, let's see the example. Next we have set rainbow, it's pretty self explanatory and all it does is affecting rainbows to appear. It's a small subtle detail, the numbers are as always the same. Remember, you can't create a rainbow in the night or without rain. Ideally, you'll need a clear sky and some rain for this to work. Here's the example. Another command is set waves. It's also a new feature of Arma 3 and has been used there for the first time. The numbers are the same and yeah, I think after watching the example you will know all that's needed. The last one I'm gonna show you here is set wind. Well it changes the wind in the game, so if you are a sniper that might affect you and other than that it's a very subtle detail that some players won't even notice. This command is a little bit different than the rest, but I have that in mind, so the command looks like this and it allows you to change the wind force and direction at the same time. So the first number says the east-west direction and its force. Positive numbers mean the wind goes to the east, negative numbers mean the wind goes to the west. Bigger numbers mean stronger wind. The second number sets the wind in north and south direction. Again, positive means north, negative means south, bigger number means more force. The wind can also be permanent, marked by this true at the end. In that case it will not change direction at all. When you want the wind to be more random and change after time, just replace the true with false. Always remember, in many missions you don't need to change the weather every 10 seconds, so it might be best just to click on the intel box in the corner of the screen and change the weather with few sliders. This method works all the time and it's very handy in many cases. The commands are good for sudden changes and stuff like that. Ok that's it for this video, I'll see you all next time, comment, like and share and have a nice day!